Britain is a laughing stock for Europe at this point already, I would say. Um, I mean, many European people feel like this. Yeah, they wrote the Brexit uh, without thinking about the consequences. We kind of all saw it coming, and now it's a bit like, we told you so. How does it feel as someone that lives in Berlin, seeing the reports in the UK that everything is the same? with supply chain issues and food shortages. <laughs> well, it's just, it's just, no, it's not, just not happening in my life. Not uh, anywhere around me when I go shopping. Yeah, all the shelves are full. There is no problem whatsoever. I can always get everything. I, it's, um, I can't understand. <laughs> in Germany, is um, you can buy everything around the clock. We have uh, enough supply and uh, every day, six days a week, sometimes um, we have uh, two or three lorries a day. Yeah, they wrote the Brexit uh, without thinking about the consequences and uh, the lorry drivers from Eastern Europe, now they got another jobs and they, I don't believe that they will come back to Britain because they're not sure if they can work there. I mean, we, our, our stocks are pretty full, as you can see. Um, we've had maybe a few problems with Corona uh, at the beginning of last year with like everybody else, like toilet paper or whatnot. But otherwise, since then, we've had uh, full shelves, <laughs> very, very full shelves. Uh, no, absolutely no shortage, no. Then we kind of all saw it coming, that there would be problems after Brexit. And that's what was like discussed a lot and they, kind of decided to go through with it and now it's a bit like it's a kind of we told you so vibe but um yeah no they're they're in denial <laughs> we have no problem we have always products no no empty shelves we have a lot no we have a lot of products here no problems with empty shelves no late deliveries no M maybe one product in a month as it's all uh, my name is Aaron Burnett. I'm a freelance journalist here in Berlin, and I, well, I, can I really say that it's a shit show on TV? <laughs> it's uh, it's a bit strange to see it. It's also a bit stranger to see how uh, the press and politicians are reacting to it. Simply saying that oh, this isn't due to Brexit, and everywhere else in Europe um, has these shortages. Uh, there's a petrol station behind me. It's very full. There's no queues. There's clearly no shortages. You need an explanation for your people um, why the Brexit was the right decision and um, so they are trying to make up those stories um, to support this narrative. Uh, they uh, want to save the Brexit. That's why they are lying, I think. There are so many bad things about Brexit and um, I can very well imagine that they can just not be honest and straight about it. That's just a fact. And uh, the politicians who have caused the situation, of course, they, um, they don't want people to see it that way. I uh, think uh, Boris Johnson is a, a big, big liar. Britain is a laughing stock for Europe at this point already, I would say. Um, I mean, many European people feel like this.